listen, I'm gonna say it to the I've never hit a sneaker's app. Not once, not even on my own shoe. I didn't hit. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Meech, and this is Bleach Report Kicks Top 10 Sneakers of the Year. We'll be counting down from 10 to one what we thought was the most impactful sneakers released in the year of 2020. To help me get through this list, we're joined by PJ Tucker of the Houston Rockets. What's up, PJ? What's the deal? You've been deemed the king of the year by the Kicks family. How's that feel? That's what's up. I appreciate it. I know that you have a list ready, but before we get into your list, uh, I'm kind of curious, what criteria are you looking for when you're making your list? Mm. When I make my list for the best shoes of the year, um, honestly, I look at what I wore the most. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what did I, like, how, how, like, my actual true emotion when I first seen it? And then how shoes grew on me throughout the year. Okay, so which ones were you feeling the most this year? Talk to me. You know, I'm gonna jump out on a limb and say, I'm not gonna lie, I might have been the first person that really loved the Jordan 4 uh, Guava. Okay. Though everybody hated on those in the beginning. And the unions? Dude, everybody hated on them. Everybody hated on the unions. I, when the first time I seen them, I was like, yo, that shoe is crazy. People were all over the blogs, were talking crazy, talking crazy. That shoe dropped, the rest is history. Like everybody was on it once they seen it, but I seen that from right from day one. What about the shoe caught your eye that you knew that it was gonna be a winner? The color combinations, the way you use the materials, the tongue, the, the tongue action, the way you can flip it up and like he, like Chris killed that. Like that that whole sneaker is unbelievable. Like, and then with the, with the shoe string exchange, he did the bright color palettes like, that's just a classic sneaker to me, like for the year, like that one epitomizes it in 2020 for sure. I, I'm with you on that, bro. So what, what other sneakers uh, really made your top 10 list? My top 10 list was kind of all over the place. Okay. I went with the stuff that, uh, that didn't release, that did release, that didn't. Uh, <laughs> and I went with some regular stuff that, you know, people could get, you know, uh, you know, regular release day stuff too. So I, I did a pretty good mix of stuff. Honestly, you know, obviously my first one was my shoe, my Kobe 5, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the Kobe 5 Pro Tro, uh, Pro Tro PE, how did that come together? Dude, that was crazy because I had no idea in the beginning. They told me it was a chance um, after we had first did them that it was a chance that one of my shoes would uh, not just be a PE. And I was like, all right, what does that mean? Like, I didn't really know they were gonna drop them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, when they told me, I was like, okay, cool. Like y'all gonna take one. Uh, and then they end up taking two, right? So they end up taking um, the, the one that ended up being the purple with the pink bottom. Uh, with the green, those, and yeah. uh, the ones that actually came. So the purple ones were supposed to release first, and then they flipped it, and then it was supposed to be both, and then it was it was all over the place. But when we actually got the date, I was like, wow, like I, I really couldn't believe it, because I didn't really know, I didn't know. <laughs> what was it like to have those shoes when you got them first in hand, what that feel like? Dude, when I first got them, that might have been the most hyped I've been for a shipment. Like, like silly, like open the box, like getting the big box and really like just ripping the pair out. Like opening that box probably is like top five moments of my life. Like something that you worked so hard for, something that's always been top of your list of being like a dream or something being able to do. That That's right up there with like signing my new deal that I signed with Nike. That's right beside that. Like being able to get a, a Kobe come out like that. Like. That's better than having a signature shoe for me. What other shoes? So I see you have a pair of uh, the CPFM uh, SB Dunks right next to you. Oh, oh you can oh, you see those straight off, huh? <laughs> yeah, these, uh, I didn't realize you could see them. These, I threw these on the list. I actually did the Sage on my list. Um, and they're actually at my house house, not the shoe house, but- um, The shoe house and the house house, okay. Yeah, it's a difference. Um, <laughs> But these, I when I first seen them, and this is one that I can honestly admit, when I first seen pics, I was like, no, like, I'm not rocking with those. Like, I ain't like them, can't fake. I got them, I was like, yo, these are crazy. The crystals shine crazy. That is that what really changed it for you after seeing it in person? Yes, like to see the way the crystals shine in person, like in the dark, like they shine in the dark. Oh. But it's not even just that. It's like under the shoe, or like under the crystals. They're like, it's like this suede kind of, I'm not sure exactly what they did with that, but that the material they use on that is unreal. And then the inside, like it's like this like spongy kind of material that's crazy. Like they like- like You hold them up to the camera so the viewers can get a really good look at them? That's, that's nuts. And that's encrusted in Swarovski crystals on the CPFM, that's very clean. It's a clean shoe, man. Like as crazy as it is, it's super simple. And that's what I love about it. It's like, it's like bling in your face, 
but it's super simple. Like it's not too much. Perfect, perfect. All right, what else? Uh, I see you got uh, Balvin's, some Jordan 1 Balvin's back there. Man, this was another one. And that's why I put these two beside each other because these both, uh, to me, were sleepers. Like, I think people still yeah. are asleep on these. Like these, like, shouts out to Jay Balvin. Like, he destroyed these. Like, the, the, the detail on these, literally the material again, like, the way they constructed this shoe is unbelievable, man. Like, and people, like, I know people hated on these at first. These is, a, this is another pair that's gonna blow up even crazier in the years because the people that slept on them are gonna want them. I can guarantee that. It's dope. He's the first Latino to do a collab with Air Jordan. And going into it, like, I, one of his goals was to do something to the Air Jordan one that's never been done before. And I think that he, show he, he got it done. He obviously achieved that without doubt. Like this shoe is incredible. PJ, I want to flip the script now. I want to get into, take you through our top 10. So uh, here we go, Kicks family. I'm going to take you through Bleacher Report Kicks top 10 sneakers of the year. Our first sneaker off the board is going to be the New Balance uh, Joe Fresh Goods collab. Fire. Clean, I think these are crazy. He designed these this pair with a uh, New Balance over All-Star Weekend. Joe Fresquez also has his signature DBM, don't be mad on here. Crazy. Crazy. Joe kills everything. Joe kills everything, man. And everybody wants him, everybody wants him to do something with them because they know he don't, he, he doesn't miss. He doesn't. Coming at number nine, we have the Puma RS Dreamer. Puma's big return to basketball. Uh, obviously, their roster is loaded. They got a couple young guys in Bagley Ayton. Obviously, J. Cole, LaMelo, uh, Kuz hit game winners in this uh, in the during the bubble. Shout out to Cole. Them joints, you know what I mean? I, I really like that shoe, and all the guys are hooping and like it. At number eight, uh, I don't have them on our side. On our side, we weren't able to catch them on sneakers, but we have the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro Big Stage. Arguably the shoe of the NBA bubble. I think we can both agree that Kobe 5 had the best colorways throughout the season. PJ, do you have your, your pair on hand that you want to show us? I do. I got this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that 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 uh big stage is like like to me that was I would say that's the Kobe Bob color of the year. Um just because the OG pair. Like just that OG pair was so big. I wore those, I had so many pair of those, and I wore those for so long. Like that that colorway was always just like that classic Kobe Five. Like when I think of Kobe Five, I think of Big Stage. Like yeah. one of the first two I think about, you know what I'm saying? So for that to have come back, like that was that was big time. Can you take me through the inspiration on the colors for your pee? So I always try to do like different stuff, right? Like I okay. never wanted to do like, yo, know, especially since the color bands we live, like you can have a lot more fun, which I always did anyways, but now it's like official. Like you can really like step out there. Um, you know, they obviously have a little bit of my, you know, history uh, throughout playing. Um, Toronto Raptor, you know, purple, red. Uh, and honestly, through the years, like, I always, always love like lime green, right? So I always like lime green accents and everything. Anything, like, yeah. Yeah, like, and, you know, it always gives that little flair. Um, and so the color blocking on the shoe, um, honestly, it's just to, just to switch it up and have some fun, man. Like now, especially, like I said, with the color band being lifted, you can have some fun uh, without getting fined anymore, so. Thank you for showing those off for us, PJ. Another shoe that we weren't able to cop on sneakers, but PJ's got on the back. Coming in number seven, we have the J Balvin uh, Jordan Jordan ones. PJ, you want to hold this up? Hold this, up, hold that up for us one more time, please. So at number six, we got the Yeezy Quantum coming in number six. Give the good luck, good luck for you guys there. Well, these were shown during Chicago's All Star Weekend, and they actually had people chasing after tanks for, with this shoe, which is nuts. I mean, Kanye and his people. Those tanks in the middle of the street, man. Like, come on. Fire. We can move on to the next one. So that's number six, guys. Going into number five, we have the Off-White Jordan 4. Off-White Jordan 4 for the women. Uh, Shout-out to Virgil for finally getting a pair done for the women. Uh, I love the nude color on this, the nude color on this. PJ, do you have a pair of these? Do they make a pair in your size? For sure. No, you have to get that sample. Those are, that, that pair is for sure should be on everybody's list. Virgil destroyed those. And, you know, you can't be mad at doing it for the ladies. Where where does this fall on you as far as off-white releases for the year? For the year, I think it's the second. To me, the Fire Red 5 is the first. But that one, I think that one's second, though, for the year. 
Bleacher Report Cakes number four shoe of the year. We have the all white Air Jordan 5. Ooh, you got the black ones over? over the black the ones, yeah. What do you think, the, the red or the black? Why'd you decide with the red? Uh, I just like the way he did the color palette, like that off kind of nude white. Like, it just hit, man. It just hit with the black and red. Like, it just it just hit for me. Like, black sneakers, I don't love black shoes. Um, I always want something with more color, something a little more happening. But I just think that, I've all, and I've always been a fan of the original white ones over the black ones anyway. So, okay. um, you know, the way he did those, I, I'm just with those. Going into number three, our Bleach Report Kicks number three sneaker of the year. TJ, we talked about these. We have the Union Air Jordan 4. Thanks. Thanks. The, the material, the colorways, they just, the heat, yeah, he killed those. A lot of people were kind of skeptical when the fours were coming out, after, even though the ones had done so well, we were confused. I mean, we saw the folded tongue and we just didn't know how to feel at first, PJ, but they did their thing. People really hated on those though. I couldn't believe it. Like I literally wrote like fire signs and pe people were going, it was so many comments going at me. I was like, yo, y'all keep that same type energy when they drop. Like I already knew, I already knew what time it was. All right, PJ, now we're moving into the top two. I think we, a tribute, the, the 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 return of the dunk, it's gotta be a tribute to Travis Scott. I mean, what he's done, what he's done, you know, the number two sneaker of the year, it's gotta be the Travis Scott, the Travis Scott dunks. I mean, come on, talk to me. Thanks, come on, man. You talking about not missing, you don't miss. <laughs> Doesn't miss. Um, I actually had the Travis uh, PlayStation on my list, but that, I mean, you, you can't like, to really be able to deconstruct them like, and do your own thing on your own shoe, I love the idea of that. I love how everybody, or even Virgil, you can cut out the circles and uh, you know you can get a little little knife and be able to do your own yeah. thing and customize them how you like them. I love that. It gives everybody to have some personality in their own shoes. So I love how Trav does that. And with the, uh, the, two, the 290. So you're saying that you have the uh, his dunks on your list. Uh, why did that make your list? I think it did, we, we kind of passed on it because only five pairs dropped. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, like, you know, the, the bandana textures on these, you know, Travis always comes with something new. So, like, we had to pick the uh, nice. this colorway, but why'd you go with the, the pink it. I respect it, but that that PlayStation colorway, the color palettes, what he did with it to make it look, because it, it looked like most, a lot of people thought it was like a Jordan 1 low again. And yeah. The dunks, like that's like for him to like be able to like blur the lines with those. And once you actually see them, then I think people will understand why I put them on there because <laughs> those are crazy. All right, so guys, that's number two right there. And then last but not least, our Bleacher Report Kicks top 10 sneaker of the year. Number one, we have the Chunky Dunk SB. He said, yeah, yeah, PJ, what you think? <laughs> Yeah, I love them. I mean, yeah, of course, I love them. I love them. Is this, a, did, did these make your list? No, I didn't put them on my list. Okay, why not? Um, I thought the Grateful Dead, the orange Grateful Dead was better. Personal, that's just my personal opinion for sure. So for, I mean, for us, and this coming in number one, like it, obviously the shoe is beautiful. Uh, beautiful details are rotten. The box is great too. Um, but shout out to Ben and Jerry's for for taking a lead in the social uh, justice conversations, and you know, literally just demanding people to dismantle white supremacy. That's a very big statement in a time where we needed leaders. For sure. uh, talk to me a little bit around you know the return of the SB. What are your thoughts on that? I'm super happy it's back, um, and that people are actually interested in it. A lot of OG guys and guys that are my age that have been around and been, you know, copying them since, you know, from the beginning. Uh, it's crazy because they, it's almost like people hate to the point where it's like, just because somebody didn't grow up getting them back in the day, like they can't get them now and they can't love them now. And I don't like that. I think everybody, no matter when you're introduced to it, you can love it. And people are loving dunks, no matter where they got it from, whether it's the hype, you know, the super hype beast shoes or uh, cause they seen somebody wear them or whatever the fact may be, just them getting into it and loving them and embracing the culture of them is everything. Uh, is there anything that you want to see, uh, any other SBs you want to see come back or or a direction you think that uh, Nike SB should take going forward? I just, I, I like how they bring in new stuff, man. Like I don't, 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 I don't want the retro old stuff. Don't bring back the old classics. Don't, 
Don't try to do another Paris. Don't try to do another London. Like, come up something else. You know, let's do, you know, let's let's do some more cities. Let's figure out some more colorways. This it's a lot of super creative guys out here doing a lot of stuff. Let's see some new stuff. Like, I, I'm I'm cool with retro and bringing stuff back, but let's let's see new stuff. I love seeing all the new stuff, though. Bleach Report kicks top 10 sneakers of the year. 10, New Balances collab with Joe Fresh Goods. Number nine, the Puma RS Dreamer. At number eight, the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro. PJ, if you want to hold your pair up. Beautiful. Coming in at number seven, the J Balvin Jordan 1. PJ's got them right behind him. PJ, if you could hold those up for me really quickly. Clean, the canvas on it is clean. The colors are crazy. Coming in at number six, the Yeezy Quantum. Number five, the Off-White Jordan 4. Coming in at number four, we have the Off-White Jordan 5. Coming in at number three, we have the Union Air Jordan 4. Number two is Travis Scott SB Dunks. Number one, we have the Chunky Dunk SBs. All right, great. So PJ, you've seen our top 10. Yes. I want to see the rest of your top 10. Okay. Or hear the rest of your top 10. So talk to me. Okay, um, so I'll start with the ones that I didn't bring with me. Uh, okay. The Kit Air Force One. Friends and family? Facts. I'm a Air Force One, uh, I'm an Air Force One guy. Since day one, since I was a kid, always. And, and Ronnie, Ronnie doesn't miss. <laughs> he doesn't miss, and he did not miss with those. Those are crazy. Uh, how's your relationship with Ronnie? How'd you guys get uh, get started? Dude, I've been wearing kids since I can remember. Um, and through mutual friends, and I um, went to the show uh, a couple years back with uh, DJ Clark Kent. He introduced us, and it's been love ever since. That, that's the king of kicks in New York City, DJ Clark Kent, man. I'm in New York City, trust me. It's not just New York City. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right, what else we got? This is a pair that I don't think a lot of people would have had on theirs, but okay. you gotta, you gotta go with the beginners pack. Like, I think people forgot about it during All Star Weekend, but people went crazy for these. I'm a big fan of '85s, so yeah. I'm an '85 head. Like, I was born '85. Like, this is my favorite shoe all time, hands down. If I see a pair of '85s anywhere, I'm copping them if they're 13 or 14. Like, I don't care. So I see you have the 85 OG pair, but where are the airships? The ships are, the ships are, the ships are next level. The black pair that just came out, that actually hooped in. That pair is crazy too. The bread pair. The bread pair to the, to the airship? Oh, that's yeah, crazy. That's crazy too. You're talking about the, 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 the band colorway, the OG yeah, band colorway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's this pack, this pack is definitely top 10. Um, and I think it's slept on. I don't think a lot of people are gonna have it on their list, um, but it definitely deserves to be on top 10 of the year for sure. I think that's a, that's a great pick. For sure, people slept on that. Uh, we're uh, sleeping on it now. I also put uh, the Reverse Skunk SB. Yeah, talk to me about the Reverse Skunks. The reverse Skunks. Um, so I got the Skunks when they first came out, like size 14 back then, which was impossible. I couldn't believe they did. <laughs> Like, I can imagine. That, was, that was a great pull for me back in the day, like to be able to get those. Um, so I've always loved the skunks, the colorway, the way they did it, like to keep it similar, but to switch it up a little bit, like those are those are fire. So I go from that to um, everybody's gonna have the Dior ones the on there. Yours. Everybody's okay. gonna have these on there, of course, um, as they should be. I would love to talk about the Dior's. I think they're I think they're one of the hottest releases of the year for sure, but. It's hard to get it to include it on a beer kicks list just because it's it's too exclusive. Like I wouldn't say it's a shoe for the people. It's not accessible enough. You know? Thanks. I agree, but I mean, none of I mean, a few of these aren't that accessible either. Like the the cactus plant dunks weren't really that accessible, I don't think. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of how I was getting now. Like it's really tough. Like I've never hit on sneakers at never, not one time. And people think I'm lying. I keep saying that I've never hit. Listen, I'm gonna say it to the I've never <laughs> hit on sneakers at not once. Not even on my own shoe. I didn't hit. I didn't hit. I never do. So I feel your pain, guys. All right, trust me, I never hit. So um, but I think that's how it's getting now, man. Everybody wants everything now. 
even stuff you don't yeah. think is gonna sell out sells out so fast. Uh, it makes stuff hard to be really hard to be accessible. So um, I think it's kind of just where the game is. From uh, from what you've seen, uh, you know, just around being around a couple of your friends, like, are they are they all really big fans of the of the Dior release? I haven't heard anybody say they don't like the Dior release. Uh, I don't know anybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even I mean, I know dudes on other brands is like, yo, like. They copped them just to like, when I get done with my deal, I'm rocking them like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta, okay. no way. Like if you like sneakers, there's no way you don't like Jordan 1 Dior. It's like, there's no way. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, let's, let's keep going through the rest of the list. What else uh, we got? Um, then after that, so I had J Balvin. Yep. Uh, Grateful Dead. On, yep. Like, the Orange Grateful Dead, we talked about those. Orange um, specific reason they the orange colorway over just, orange ones. I just like the orange ones. They they're just my personal favorite. Um but all of them are fired. I mean, I guess you could say the whole pack. Even though they didn't come together. <laughs> Even though you had the Bob separately. Uh I got the yeah, green ones. The green colorway. Green ones I just have sitting right here. But I, I mean I guess you could say the whole pack, even though they were separate. Um the orange was my favorite. I just like the orange the best. Um, but my favorite thing is the okay. little pocket on top. That's the- The stash. That, that's the dopest part to me. Like that was, I seen that, I was like, yeah, that's fire. And I was wearing these in the bubble so I could put my hotel key in there. So I went to practice, like when I left- Oh, like, yeah, like the, uh, the scan card could fit in there? Yeah, it could fit right in. So I was just stashed. That's cool. In. That was big time. So I was wearing <laughs> these like every day in there. But my last one is, okay, we talking about accessibility and all that, and that's cool. But I'm sorry, I had to put them on there. Um, it's impossible not to put them on there. The Shine Down Jordan ones. Shine Down, that's crazy. It's Honestly, PJ, I, I I don't know much about this pair right here. So we sing a Shine Down. Where's I don't know if you ever seen. He wears Jordan ones all the time. Yeah. He wears Jordan ones all the time. Uh, and it's so dope because after I warmed he hit me up, I was like, yo, like, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> it was super dope. The guys would have been me. Uh, it was super cool. But um, he wears Jordan ones all the time. So I think it was just like an organic relationship. And they let him make a pair, man. And I know, like, people say they look like the no photos, but it's not even close. Like, this, this yellow is not the same yellow. It's like more of an orange. Yeah, it reminds me more of the shattered, the shattered backboard. Uh, exactly. It's more of that type of orange than the actual yellow. So it's like, I love how you did a different color, but um, it's just the color is super dope, man. Do you, you plan to hoop in the shine downs? I plan to hoop in everything I got, so these okay. are any different. Okay, I just cool. get the right, you know, the right jersey, the right, it's just gotta be right, you know what I'm saying? I loved your top ten. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it, you had a mix of super hype stuff and then things that you like. You cared about just as a, a sneaker connoisseur. But what is your twenty twenty shoe of the year? Ooh, that is so tough. That is really tough. For for it to be sneaker of the year, it's got to be something that I think everybody kind of like. It's like the majority. Like it's got to be one of those ones that, that everybody loves. That gets love all around the board and. It's just like one of those must cops. The Air Max One, the, the orange Air Max One, man, I wear those probably more than any shoe this year. Um, and it didn't make my top 10, but when you talk about like shoe of the year, it's something like that that's classic. When it drops, it's gonna sell out. Like it ain't gonna be on the app long, even though they come out with a ton of pair. It's just one of those shoes. And I think Air Max Ones with Jordan Ones are the two best shoes ever made. So for sure. For me, it's the Air Max One, the orange and order or the white green, either one. Kicks family, that's a wrap. We took you through our top 10. It's been your boy Meech here. PJ Tucker. With my guy PJ Tucker. And that is a Bleach Report Kicks top 10 sneakers of the year. Thanks for coming through. It was PJ Tucker and that's a wrap with BR Kicks. <laughs>